another night, another rescue. Um, there are two uh, Shetlands that have been dumped um, about an hour away from where I live and they've been loose for about three weeks. I keep seeing posts on Facebook about them and eventually um, somebody's managed to catch them in a, in a field or contain them in a small paddock and they've rung me and asked if I'll come and get them. Um, so we are off, me and Mark are in the horse box, Jack and Steph are following behind. Um, there's four of us going to try and get these Shetlands, apparently they're not tame. Um, I mean, obviously they've been dumped, so they haven't been well loved or looked after. Um, which means we're going to try Steph as the famous horse whisperer to try and get a head collar on them and catch them. And if that doesn't work, Mark is going to rugby tackle them. Because they're only Shetlands, they're easier to rugby tackle and grab them around the neck and just hang on for dear life. So, uh, watch this space. Give her a good scratch and you're her good mate. Oh, she's really matted, isn't she? Really matted. Go on, Jack. Right, we've managed right, to secure the baby, well done, so we've worked them out. This is a foal. Yeah, yeah. This is a foal. Come on, girl, girl. Weenie foal, and that's Mama over there in the background. Good girl. Good girl. Up we go. They're very matted. Look at the state of their hair. That's really bad. Come on. It's really, really, really bad. we go. What was it to walk on? Walk on. Walk on. Walk on, baby. Walk on. Come, come. come on, little one. There we go. There, yeah, little one. Oh, dear. It's okay. You might have to carry her, Mark. Yeah. Walk on. Good girl. Good girl. Come on, Mama. We've got um, another head collar in there. Answer. We have oh, baby, baby on the horse come box. In, come on, here she is. Come on, here she is. I'm just going to keep the light on the baby so she can see her. Here she is. Here she is. Here she is. She's coming. She's coming. Get ready to put it up, Jack. Tap on the bum. Tap on the bum. We are in. Mum and baby are in. Good girl, Mama. Good morning. Good morning, cheeky. You cheeky. Oh, look at your little baby. You've got such matted hair. So these guys stayed in the horse box last night. We didn't want to put them in the field when it was so late and dark. So they slept in here last night and we're about to get them out and give them a little once over check. Check their feet and everything. Get the mats out of the foal's hair. You're not skinny though, because you've been roaming for three weeks. Browsing wherever you like. It's all right, Mummy's here. Shall we try and get them up that slope? Yeah. Wee, wee, wee. Come right. on, follow, follow Mummy. Okay, follow Mama. Okay. Look, look okay. Mummy's coming. Come on, Come on baby. Mama. Come on, baby. Come on, Baba. Probably never been laid, has she? No. Come on, baby. Hey, good girl. Oh, good girl. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, we got you. Yeah. Clover, who is it? Clover's looking as if to say, oh, there's new ones. There's new people's here. Oh, baby, look how nice you are. Well, I know, I know, we'll just cut it out, we might stress you. Oh, we're just, we're just getting rid of some of these mats. Yeah, we are. Good girl, oh, you're such a fuck up. We'll tidy you up at another time, but we're just getting rid of you. Oh, you've got some nice sideburns, though. Look at these lovely sideburns. Bluebell's got sideburns like this. Oh, God, this is like massive. Yeah, yeah, let's cut the whole lot out. Go on, Steph. 
Good girl, I know. It'll grow back. Yeah. Like Maximus, his hair is growing back now. He had all these mats. He did. I think you might love them. I think you might like him. This one, this foal has got the same colour and markings as my first ever pony. It's making me feel really right. sentimental right. and yeah. emotional. Blimey. Okay. She's a good girl. Yep, girl. <laughs> Definite girly. Yeah, it's a girl. having an adventure through lots of thistles on your three week epic journey on the run and... right not the prettiest tail cuts in the world but much better Happy little ponies. Uh, we've had to call the vet out because uh, Coco Pig has got some blood coming out of her bum um, and we don't know what's wrong with her. So we've called the vet out. She's just got here. But Rebecca Pig was in the shelter with Coco and we couldn't get her out. We needed to get her out so we could examine Coco. So we've just called Rebecca out. We had to tempt her with a load of pig nuts. Esther. Yeah, there's like a, a cut in it, but it doesn't look like it's fresh, which is odd. So I don't know whether that's an old injury that she's got. This morning it looked quite, when I come in here, it looked quite um, moist, like. Yeah. Because there was a little bit down there. Yeah, I wonder what she's cut it on. I thought it looked like a cut when she, Steph showed yeah. me the picture. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it looked like a cut rather than yeah. pooing blood, if you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Which is much There's no better. blood around her, her anus. Good it's girl. all sort of lower down by her blood. It's alright, Coco. Good girl. Give her ear a scratch, Jack. Oh, that's a good girl. Well done, girlie. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're doing really well. She hasn't been straining at all, has she? That you've noticed? Oh, Steph saw her do a normal poo yesterday. Um, her appetite's been really good. Yeah, so I suspect that she's um, cut her vulva um, on something um, in the paddock. Um, so there's a little bit of fresh blood around there. Um, it doesn't seem to be infected at the moment and it seems like it's happened quite suddenly because she was eating and drinking yesterday and today she's not wanting to come out of her pen. Um, so we're just going to give her some antibiotics um, just to cover her and we're going to give her some uh, Metacam, so some anti-inflammatory and pain relief. Um, and then we'll repeat that as well and see how she gets on. So Vet has now got to inject Coco Pig, which is not going to be easy or fun. Scratch that ear. All right. Good girl. Scratch that ear for you. Oh, Coco. She's so old, bless her. How old is she now, Oh, she's got to be 10 now. Okay, done one. Oh, you've done it? Yeah. Cool, well done. So, what she got to do the next one? She clever. I think you're going to react to this. Good girl. <laughs> I know. I know. You're all right. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. You stay still you're for a minute. You're so good. That is so amazing. Good. You are so good. You're okay. It's okay. There's a good girl. You're all right, sweetie. Oh, bless her. <laughs> that punch was amazing. Yeah. You got that in. That is actually amazing. That was incredible. Yeah. you just got to, like, well, I do the punch. It's, it looks really violent, but you just... No, it's do not. It, it no. doesn't. It doesn't look violent at all. Gets the job that, done. Knowing, I mean, maybe to someone that didn't know a pig, it would look violent, but it, to someone that knows <laughs> pigs, that's, that's barely even well, touching the surface. 
service. Sort of like desensitise the area, like numb the area. Yeah. But to be honest, it's more just to that's give them a warning. So that yeah, that a jab's coming exactly because if you just do them. one jab, then it freaks them out and they jump. Exactly. Yeah. If you do like three, four punches and then the jab, yeah. that punch is not going to hurt them. Like, yeah, exactly. let's be honest, it's. A so big tough pig. It's, yeah, that's yeah. so clever. It's just to let them know that something's happening. That's quite and their hard they, area as well. Yeah, it? yeah. well, it's straight into the muscle. So yeah. usually they do, they do Good. stand pretty yeah. still for it. And obviously, if they move, then you've got this yes. to move with them. That's unreal. Honestly, honest to God, you need to be our resident pig vet <laughs> yeah. because yeah. that was amazing how you dealt with that. <laughs> so next on the vets list is Elena, who has. Um, <laughs> An abscess on her cheek. She's had this before. This is a reoccurring thing. She she gets an abscess on her cheek that fills up with pus, and you have to basically pop it and squeeze it and get the pus out. So, next job. Elena, apart from anything else, I've just pushed on it by mistake. Now you've just put a massive glob on the wall. Blech. Oh, is that the pus that's come no, out? I just of it? held yeah. it by mistake. Oh. Right, you can swing there then. Do you want? Oh. Whoa. Jesus Sorry, that was really on your Christ. finger. Oh, the smell. Here we go again. Love the smell of infection. Oh. <laughs> Wowie wooey. How has that come up overnight? Yeah, it's pretty. Bad That's in the smell. same place as last time as well. <laughs> oh, my life. How do you feel, Steph? Oh, like I'm going to gag again. Mm, good girl. Good girl. You're kissing well very close to that infection. I know, but she's been a good girl. <laughs> oh, you stink. You stop fighting now because you now feel so much better. It's treatment number three today. Um, is we have um, a goat who last week. It's all right, Tyler. We had a goat last week um, who cracked his horn. Don't know how. But we had to have the vet out to actually take the horn off. Um, and he's fine. Luckily, it didn't go down far enough to damage his brain because that can happen. But um, today, the horn's gotten really pussy, and you can smell that it's infected. It, uh, um, for the viewers at home, infection uh, has a very, very distinct smell, and all infection in animals pretty much smells the same. So you can smell when it's infected. So, Steph noticed this morning that. Tyler's horn was infected and is smelly. So um, vet is here um, to sort Tyler and his horn. Steph's gagging because she's just smelt the infection. Hello buddy. No buddy, you can't come in. It's so hard when he's got right, 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 right. Ooh. Oh, sweetie. And that's normally got open. Yeah. So it's full of it, I think. Okay. And, and it, it works. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's definitely come on within the last couple of days or so um but yeah you can it's, you can see all the pus there yeah um smell it again sir oh, i can't <sighs> oh, she just gagged <laughs> when steph gags she burps okay tyler good boy good boy i know Poor little man. So this is Tyler, so he cut his horn last week um, and unfortunately um, he's basically exposed the sinus. Um, so he was fine and he was on antibiotics last week, um, but now it's become infected. Um, so it's quite a bit of pus around there and it's got quite a, a, a smell as well. Um, so we've put him on antibiotics again um, and we're gonna put him on some pain relief as well. Um, my concern would be that um, the infection will keep on coming back because there's an exposed um, hole there basically. Um, so the options are, well, we're gonna put him on the course of antibiotics now, um, try and get the infection down as much as possible. And it could be that we have to send him for referral surgery to have the horn removed um, and essentially to have the, the horn removed here at the base and then to close um, the entry to the, to the sinus basically. Um, yeah. And, and why are you leaving it exposed and not covering it? So we're leaving it exposed um, purely because we want the um, infection to drain. I don't think there's going to be much drainage from here purely just because of the angle. But if I cover it, there's a chance that we could let infection fester essentially inside the sinus, which would be which would be pretty devastating. So um, we're going to leave it open. Um, we're going to keep sort of like flushing it with some warm hibby um, and just try and remove as much of the infection as we possibly can.